Today it's time for a little bit of maintenance in our cars and I mean tire pressure. So we are going to check the tire pressure of the car, where we can check it. Then we are going to see where we can get information of the recommended values for the pressure in the tires. And then finally, we are going to explore three ways to check and also inflate the uh, tires. Two of them are more for emergency situations and you will understand why. And finally, we are going to a gas station to inflate our tires to get to the right tire pressure. So let's go. So welcome back to the channel, my name is Ugo and this is the XPeng G6 Diaries. If you are new to the channel, I do publish a lot of videos about my transition from a nice car to an EV and mainly with my XPeng G6, bringing a lot of information about the car and also just my regular day-to-day. -day. So if you like this type of videos, please consider subscribing and also activate that bell over there so that you are notified about new videos. So let's go for the video. To check the recommended settings for your tires, you know that you need to come here to the side of the driver's door and there is here a sticker right in the side of the driver's door where you can see the references for your tires. So you need to check the references on the tires here on this side and then the configuration that you need to put in terms of air pressure. So in my case, it's 2.5. Uh, in the front and 2.7 in the back. There are a lot of places where you can check the current situation of the car. If you come to the settings, you will have immediately the car here displayed and the pressure that you have on the front and back tires. And as you can see, 2.4 in the front, 2.6 in one side, 2.5 in the other side. And if you remember when we saw it on the uh, side of the driver's um, door, you see that in the front I should have 2.5 and on the back I should have 2.7, so I have to put air in the tires. You can have also this information on the dashboard in front of the driver, so it's one of the options that you can use to put air on the side. And I usually have this one here on the left side of the dashboard, I do have the tire pressure also present. And as you can see, it's exactly the same information. Finally, there is another place where you can find this information that is on the XPeng app. If you see here, you can have also this information on the top part displayed. So to have that displayed there, you just need to go down and activate here the tri tire pressure. So if you activate, you will get that information and it will stay on until you deactivate again and it will disappear. So let's activate again so that you see and you can see that we have 2.4 in the front and 2.5 and 2.6 in the back, okay? It's important to say that the reference numbers for the tire pressure are uh, meant to be read on um, cold tires. So when you start driving your car, the tires will get warmer and the pressure will increase usually. So you need to act immediately, but sometimes you don't have any air pressure pump uh, next to you, so you need to drive your car. What I do in those cases, uh, if you go to a station, um, usually a, a pump station for uh, gas, you can uh, use those uh, air pumps that they have there to fill in the air pressure in your car but you need to take into consideration the differences then uh, that the car increased the pressure in the tires. So imagine this situation. If you have the recommended in front tires 2.5, I see that I have currently 2.4, I start driving, the tires will get warmer, I arrive to the pump station and at that time the tires are now reading 2.5. So what I do personally, I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but this is how I do it. I compensate then. So I know that when they were cold, there was a 0 0.1 difference, okay? So I just put and configure the pump, the air pump to provide 2.6 so that then the car with the tires warmed, uh, they will have 2.6, but then when they cool down again, they will get back to 2.5 again. This is the way I do it. Let me know in the comments if this is the way you do it also. So you probably also got one of these. So this is a bag that I got from XPeng when I got my car. And inside there is a repair kit for the, uh, if you have a flat tire, but, and you have also a pump here that you can use to uh, 
uh, fill in the, the air in your car. Let's use this one today to see if we can do it with it. So I have connected already the 12 volt here on the um, car. Let's see if this works. It seems so. So let's now connect this to the car. So let's, let's take this out. Let's insert the pump here. And as soon as we put this on, you see that the air pump will give you already an indication. And it says exactly 2.4, 2. It's more or less in the middle. Let's see how it does. Let's try to give it 2.6. Oh, what do you think? 2, 4, and more or less in the half. Let's take it out. It's important to say that this is an emergency, part of an emergency kit. So I, I do believe that it's not particularly useful for these type of situations where you just want to do regular tire maintenance because it doesn't have the uh, exact numbers that you want. So I do believe that this is more useful if you have a flat tire and then you need to push a lot of hair inside the, 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 the tire so that you can resume back uh, driving until you reach a place where you can exactly define how much tire pressure you want. But this is just a scientific approach that we are doing here today. So I will continue doing it and let's see how this ends. Let's do now a back tire. And now we should target for 2.7. I will target to 2.8 because when we plug in and plug out, there are there is air coming out. But let's see. You see, it's losing some hair here. So let's see it. So now we have, let me try to find the best way to show you this. So currently we have 2.2, 4 and yeah, let's bring a little bit. Okay, let's see if this made anything. Let me take this out. You will see that there is a lot of hair coming out when we disengage. So I don't know if what we put in, it will come out, but let's see. I have here other device that I got a couple of years ago that it's from Xiaomi. It's an air pump, but it's chargeable uh, with uh, USB here. And I don't know if I have enough battery for this, but I will try in one single uh, tire to see what happens. So here you can see that we can uh, define here what type of device we want to uh, fill in these cars and now we have 2.7 we will increase to 2.7 here that is the back tires that I will pump so I will use the same tire that I use the uh, uh, Xpeng pump to see if the car reads the same or not let's see so I have connected and as you can see it reads 2.6 so it seems that it did got a little bit of hair with the Xpeng pump let's start now with this one it does a lot of noise so it's going to try to reach 2.7 I don't know if this has enough power to do this or not because it's a very small pump I use this for bicycles mainly and uh, balls and stuff like that four cars it works so it's 2.7 But see, it's already without battery. Let's give it another, a little bit more time. It's enough, it stopped. So it seems that it's already in 2.7, let's see. So I just got inside the car and as you can see, 
the back tire that I just used the Chiami pump and also used the x -Bank pump, it is showing already 2.7. So it worked uh, mainly with the Chiami pump, hair pump. Um, I do believe that also with the uh, x -Bank pump, it gave a little bit hair because when we, before we tried, it was saying 2.6. Um, so probably it got a little bit of pump. I don't know, hair. I don't know, to be sure. But now I am going to drive a little bit to see if the um, front uh, tire also got a little bit of air because currently it's still saying the same. And then I will go to a uh, air pump, a normal air pump in a gas station and fill in the remaining of the tires. So I just arrived to the pump uh, station here. It's currently being used, uh, but um, I am waiting and as you can see after this quick ride, so I made two, two kilometers, uh, I love this consumption that I currently have, um, but um, as you can see the back tire that I just uh, put here, it's now showing 2.8, so it increased uh, a little bit. So I decided to set up the air pump to 2.8 in the back and 2.6 in the front, so 0.1 above the recommendation so that on um, tires that are colder, uh, they will reach more or less the um, recommended settings uh, from uh, x -Bank. So this is what I will set up on the air pump um, here in the, this gas station. So let's set up first for the front tires. So 2.6 here, as you can see, and let's do it on the front tire here. did insert it a little bit of air, uh, done. And here it is. As you can see now we have 2.6 in the front, 2.8 in the back, so 0.1 above the uh, x -Bank recommendations. Now let's go back home and that's it. It's done guys. So here we are back home and the car has the correct tire pressure right now. So what do I take from these small experience so the bump the pump that was provided by x -Bank and also the chayomi um hair pump that i have the portable hair pump they are useful for emergencies and just small additions because uh, for instance the x -Bank hair pump has the problem that you cannot define exactly the tire pressure that you want so it's more a visually thing and as you could see on the examples i do believe that i didn't even let the pump uh, work the amount of time that would be needed to make it so I, I and that was because it is not possible to uh, define a, a limit uh, that you want uh, so you don't really know what is happening so I do believe that it's going to be useful when you have a flat tire and um, you may want to um, inflate a lot of hair inside the tire so that you can resume back um, doing your right. Um, in case of the Chiaomi, as you have a digital um, uh, screen, you can then define exactly where you want to stop. And as you saw, it will stop um, in that point and the correct um, inflate pressure is going to be there. So I do believe that it's going to be more useful, the Chiaomi uh, portable air pump for these situations, but as you see, uh, it is a USB charging um, air portable uh, pump. So this probably will not have enough battery for making these for the four um, tires. So, but you can of course use it if you are in a situation and you realize that it is, there is one tire that is a little bit low and you can use it for, for that. It's a possible way of use. But my recommendation is once per month or when you see in your screens that there is the need to make these maintenance, just go to a gas station or to any place that has a big air pump to be used for these because it's, it's going to be very easy, fast and reliable, reliable um, to do that uh, over there. So once per month or once per each uh, two months doing that it's good enough to keep it like that. And guys, remember that on AEV, 
having the correct tire pressure it's very important not only for efficiency but also for security as these tires are a little bit more um, difficult less grip so it's better to have it in the correct settings so that you don't have any problem especially with um, uh, rainy uh, roads uh, with a lot of water and stuff like that so that's that is my recommendation so guys thank you very much again this was the objective of the video just to show you a couple of ways to see check and also inflate tires of your x bank and of course this is useful also for most of the other cars available in the market even ice cars but that's it thank you very much again and i will see you in the next one bye bye